Hi there. So what we've got now is the behind the scenes video. I'm not sure if it's going to be about music or just a little bit more. I'm just going to randomly talk you through some stuff. So right here we're at, do you remember the beginning of the music video for the one night circus stand? Boom! The circus isn't open yet. So this is attached to the front of my house. Now we're going to walk there. So this is the long way. This is where we live. I don't know if you can see uh, the street. They actually call this the Garden City. Um, it's incredible. I uh, moved here. I've been living in England on a farm. First time for me to move out of the city. I loved the farm, but it was a bit too rural for me. And when I came here, it's just like a balance, like between countryside and and the city. It's really amazing. Sometimes you could go up like on a hill and you just see green everywhere. Um, yeah, it's got the vibe of the city too. It's not a typical city. You know, go probably anywhere in the world. Uh, it's really cool, really cool. So this, oh look, that's the gate. Wait by the gate till eight, mate. So now we're in our little house, kind of compound type thing. Um, yeah, this is it, man. I moved here seven years ago to Malawi. I've always lived in this area. It's a nice little area uh, called Area 23, basically. We're on the outskirts of that. And it's good vibes. So now, going into my house. Oh yeah, look. I'm wearing a... Can you see this? I'm wearing... I'm wearing a sarong. Can you see that? Ali G wouldn't be very happy. We need to David Beckham, he's like... You wear a sarong. Is that because you is so wrong? Something like that. I can't remember. Ali G is pretty funny, isn't he? Right, so this is my house. Christine, she makes all kinds of bags and stuff. She made these cushion covers, that's my guitar. <clears throat> uh, this guitar is pretty incredible because uh, it was the, t the second tour with Madlice band um, when we played Roskilde Festival and stuff like that. That was uh, incredible for all of us, but for me, um, they, made, they made money enough to build their first houses each, and me, I spent my money on a nice new guitar. Uh, got some books there, and um, <clears throat> got Harold there reading a book. F. Scott Fitzgerald's short stories. How are you doing, Harold? Doing good, man. Yeah, you just you just pop by to say hello. Yeah. Got yeah. <laughs> um, look, there's the tent from the music video. Whoa! Right, so I'm just giving. Am I just giving you a tour of my house? I actually want to. Sort of show you where the magic happens. This is what we call the music studio. So this is my little studio here in the long way. I set it up um, last year. Um, I mean, I've been trying to find a record label to work with me for so long, but I uh, just started to sort of teach myself recording finally and I don't know people said it's not sounding too bad so I decided to start putting out the music and it's good because I don't have to pay anyone for that recording side which means that's why I put out so like two songs already the last couple of months and I'm planning to put out one every every month at least uh keep things rolling um this microphone I got it in 2010 and it's still a beauty uh, here in Malawi, everything has these fabrics. Um, what else is there to say, really? Behind the scenes, I wanted to take you behind the scenes. So, what else is there? Um, okay, just like, for example, in the circus song, I love uh, I love hanging out with people and I'm a sociable guy. And <clears throat> I had a friend called Ian. Ian, the man. And um, I didn't know he played clarinet. And one day he was just hanging out in my house. And I said, hey. He said, yeah, I've got my clarinet. He played it. And I was like, wow, that'll be really cool in the circus song. And um, it was. So that when the scene, when we go into the circus and towards the end, that's uh, Ian playing clarinet. I've been lucky enough to have that in my whole life, like musicians. And I do intend, as the time goes past, to uh, collaborate with more musicians, local musicians, Malayan musicians. We get a lot of people moving through Malawi. Now it's a bit of a strange time if we might as well talk about the moment we're in because obviously um, a lot of the 
international community here left, um, which is strange because the coronavirus didn't hasn't actually come here. Touching wood. It's kind of locked down. Music venues are shut. The bars are shut. The schools are shut. Everything else seems quite normal. I think the ones who are hardest hit are such people. Anyway, guys, I think that's it. Look, I've gone on for over five minutes. Um, a little behind the scenes. I guess there'll be every release. There'll be stuff like this. And thanks once again for all your support and commenting. It's the circus stand time. There's a five days left of the promotion, so keep on sharing that song and that video, please. I uh, really appreciate all that so far. And um, big up to Damien Keys. If you if you're promoting your music, check out this guy's one who's. Basically, I'm following his 20-day uh, promotional plan to the latter. And it's going really well. I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. Um, catch you soon.